And now, your first alert five weather. Looks like a beautiful sunset is taking shape at Wolf Creek Ski Area at the summit there. And it is clear for now, but there is going to be some snow in the mountains by this weekend. But for now, we're still in this spring-like pattern. Here's a look at our highs today across the state. A lot of 50s in the mountains, 60s and 70s into the plains. So it was a beautiful spring day, and we've been relatively clear. But then we're watching some cloud cover moving in from the north and west, and that extra Extra cloud cover and moisture is coming in along with a cold front. That cold front will impact us tomorrow, but you're probably not going to notice it. It's going to lose a lot of that energy by the time it gets here to our region and we'll just be a few degrees cooler tomorrow. Uh, meanwhile, tonight we'll drop to the 20s and low 30s in the mountains mid 30s to even low 40s in the plains. So pretty mild for our overnight temperatures. We'll have a few of those clouds that are moving into the northwest corner of the state eventually move into our region early tomorrow and our high temperatures will be paired back by about five degrees compared to today. So Friday's high is 59 in the Springs and 64 in Pueblo and across the region mostly 50s and 60s tomorrow. No more 70s on the board, but that will change again by Saturday. Saturday's temperatures back to the 70s in the Plains and up the Arkansas River will have 60s elsewhere along I-25 and even up to Salida, 60 degrees on Saturday. Saturday will be a bit breezier as well as we heat up. So we've got the mild ridge of high pressure that's in place for a couple more days. Then we start to see those jet stream winds on Saturday and then the cold air dips in Sunday to Monday and some moisture arrives. So there is a cold front on the way on Sunday. So let's fast forward to Sunday. We're going to see dry conditions for the first part of the day in the plains. Ongoing snow in the mountains that will start on Saturday. We'll see Sunday afternoon rain showers here locally for the plains up to I-25 mountain snow. Then the cold air really pushes in Sunday night into Monday morning and we'll see periods of moderate to heavy snowfall early in the day on Monday. But then watch by Monday afternoon, the plains start to clear up. The mountains still will see some snow showers hanging out until early Tuesday. So initial thoughts on snow totals about one to four inches in the plains in the mountains about three to seven and it's going to be a quick moving storm. Only about 24 hours is the time frame that we'll have it with us here in Colorado Springs. So looking forward to Monday, I have a storm impact two out of five. You might need your shovels and icy and snowy roads are likely, especially Monday mornings commute as we're in the thick of the storm. But then it moves out and we're back to the 50s by next Wednesday. So for Pueblo, 60s, 70s, the next few days. Then we'll have rain on Sunday evening as a cold front arrives that will transition to snow early Monday. And then we will see that storm clear out and we're back to the 60s by next Wednesday. Canyon City, 60s for a couple days still. Upper 50s by Sunday and we'll see increase in clouds and rain transitioning to snow by the time we get to Monday and for the Pueblo and Canyon City seven days I only have an impact one out of five from this upcoming storm for Woodland Park you're going to see some spotty snow starting Sunday by early afternoon continuing Monday and then tapering off on Tuesday.